probably like a cultural connection and context that maybe was previously hidden because a lot of this is hidden from most people and was hidden from me. I had to, I've spent my entire adult artistic career digging it up. Um, and I, st and I, as I said, I started digging it up actually as a, when I was a teenager still, when I realized, oh wait, these are Indians I'm drawing. Um, so yeah, just sort of having, um, connecting to a historical context that's been buried and, and has been unearthed, partially unearthed. Um, so you have like a, like a new understanding, uh, that would, that would be one. And then another would just be like a soul connection, uh, through the art. Cause the art is very much like sort of, I call it vis visual soul. It's very sort of connected to the sort of like the unseen dimensions, the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. And so I would hope that it would sort of like, whether subconsciously or consciously tap, tap into a person's sort of like memory of, you know, their spiritual side. Like it would somehow kind of conjoin with their awareness of that, even if it's not even totally conscious, mm -hmm. would somehow just move them in that way. Um, most people aren't really necessarily ready for it, but then there are people that are totally ready for it. And it's such a breath of fresh air when you meet them. And it's really obvious when you meet them, you're like, oh yeah, you get it. Oh, you get me. Oh yeah, we're, we're on the same wavelength. I'm happy. <laughs> but then there's always the, no, we are not. No, I can barely even talk about this stuff with you, 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 any of you, <laughs> because they're just, it's just, it's a certain, you know, mindset, I guess. For me, it's normal, but that's, I mean, that's being an artist is like that anyway, in general, I think. If you spend a lot of time doing art, you're gonna be kind of sidelined, you know, you're not gonna be mainstream in terms of like the types of conversations you're gonna be able to have when you're just sort of out and about. Probably, when they look at it and they say something that indicates to me that they get it like, oh, this is showing like animal spirits or animal energies. Um, it's like grabbing me that way. People have said things similar to that. Um, not in those exact words, but I, I remember several different people that I met when I'm back when I had a, um, I had a studio over at Golden Belt and we had the third Fridays. It was third Fridays or first Fridays, but it was like a regular thing where people would come through mm -hmm. and there would be, there would always be that one person or maybe two in a given evening that would be like, oh, this is about animal spirits or, oh, this is about spirit world um, or, um, I forget some of the other words they use, but so, something to that effect. And I'd be like, yes, you see me, you know, and that, those were, those were memorable. Those were, those were so memorable. In fact, that, um, I, I often wrote them down and then like put them in my materials, like some of my, like on my website or in some, I don't know, brochure that I put together or whatever. Yeah. Sometimes you can't really see yourself as well as somebody else who just comes along and just nails it. They just nail it for you. And you're like, oh, I need to like encapsulate that because, you know, I, I'm busy just being myself and they're seeing me from, from the outside and, and they're, by identifying in that way, they're teaching me about myself, you know, because I'm just here. I mean, I'm, I'm just here doing, well, I guess, what I was supposed to be doing here uh, in my lifetime. I'm not always aware of everything, you know, yeah. which is probably a really good thing. <laughs> Can you imagine if we, every dream we had, we remembered it in detail, <laughs> it would probably be basket cases. <laughs> so it's good sometimes to have to rely on other people to tell you who you are and what you're doing. <laughs>